For this line, I absolutely love the primer, but I really don't like the foundation, so let's see if I'll like the concealer. Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. Welcome back to my Concealer Wars. Today is episode five. We are halfway through this series and holy crap, I literally feel like I just started like last week. Time is going by so fast. But anyway, if you are watching this in the future, I will link everything down below for you so you guys can see this entire series. I will be testing out 10 drugstore concealers for your oily skin. And for each of these concealers, I will be testing them out just underneath the eyes while baking and doing a light setting. Let's get into concealer number five, and that's gonna be the Rimmel London Stay Matte Soft Concealer. This creamy longwear concealer helps to hide imperfections and dark circles. This is humidity proof, sweat proof, and heat proof. It leaves your skin shine free for 24 hours. I tested this concealer out for two days, and day one is my first impression. So let's roll the tape. So this looks like it's almost the exact same shade as my foundation. I have tried looking for a shade lighter, but no drugstore carries this anymore. Amazon was out. And then even the website, the Rimmel website did not have my shade. And this is what was holding me back on starting the concealer wars. And I just figured I'm just gonna go ahead and order this color and we'll go from there. So let's see. So this is in the shade Fair, and it's a little itty bitty doe foot applicator. And it just smells like makeup. Okie dokie, let's put this on. Oh wow, you can't really get anything out. So I'm gonna have to put a bunch of dots. So I'm gonna blend this side out with a brush. Okay, so this is definitely a light coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and put on another coat and see if this is buildable. This says that this is full coverage. No. So this is definitely buildable. I was able to build it up just a little bit. I think I got it to a medium coverage now, which isn't bad at all. So here's the difference. Now I'm gonna apply this side as well and blend it out with a damp sponge. I totally forgot to mention the color. It's actually perfect. I really, really like it. So I'm definitely liking blending it with a damp sponge. It looks so much brighter and it also looks a little bit more smoothed out. So I definitely want to go over this side with the damp sponge. But before I do that, let's do a close up so you guys can see. So here is the left side. It is already creasing, but I'll take care of that before I set it. And here is the right side. So this concealer is supposed to have a matte finish, but it honestly looks a little bit natural, but you guys know that I'm gonna mattify the crap out of it whenever I do bake. So I'm gonna be back with the rest of my makeup. All right, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup. So let's go ahead and take a look at my face. So this is looking so, so nice. It is definitely playing well with the rest of my makeup. And of course I mattified the crap out of it when I baked. So today's baking, tomorrow is just a light setting. Of course, like I said earlier, I can still see my dark circles through the concealer. So this is definitely, I want to say a light to medium coverage. I don't look dried out. I definitely was able to blend out the creases and it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and do a close up for you guys. So here's my left side and the right side. Of course, the real test is to see how this wears, so I will let you guys know at the end of the day. So I'm back from my check-in, and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 hours now, so let's go ahead and take a look at my concealer. So there is just a little bit of creasing only on the right side. It does not look bad at all. It actually looks really, really good, and nothing has transferred. It has stayed on fully, and it's still the exact same coverage. It looks really, really good. And you can see some of my oil has come through, um, but nothing really on my concealer, nothing on my under eyes. So let's do a close up. So here is my left side and my right side. So you can barely see the creasing. 
So far, I'm really, really liking this, but I am curious about a light setting for tomorrow, so I will let you guys know. Today's day two, and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 and a half hours, and I only did a light setting, so let's go ahead and take a look at my face. As you can tell, I am just a little bit sweaty. I've been decorating, rearranging some furniture, so that is why I'm sweating. <laughs> So you can see that my entire face is shiny except for my under eye area. That is still super, super matte. So the one thing that I'm noticing is the fact that it doesn't look like it's a medium coverage anymore. It looks like it is back to a light coverage. So I can definitely see my dark circles coming out again. And I had just a little bit of mascara transfer down on this side but that's it and I can just still see my dark circles peeking through just a little bit more than how it was earlier this morning. So let's do a close up. So here's the left side. There's at least no creasing. And the right side. I just feel like it's not as bright as it was. I'm not saying it looks bad at all. I just would have expected the coverage to stay the same. So. So while testing out the concealer, I did notice that this concealer would be best for just a light makeup day because it gives you a light coverage. And then of course it is buildable to a light medium coverage, but it's so lightweight. And I just think that it would be great for those days where you just don't wanna wear that much makeup, but you just wanna to touch up just a little bit to where you kind of look put together <laughs> without any effort. So the best way to apply this is with a damp sponge. At least for me, it just seemed really smooth and just so much brighter. I do love the fact that I I can bake with it, but doing just a light setting, I mean, you guys saw on the second day, the coverage just wasn't there like it was on the first day or when I very first put it on. So it was just really weird because it didn't come off patchy or anything like that. I don't know why the coverage wasn't there, but it did come off just a little bit. So I do like baking with it. Despite the little things, I do think that this is a great concealer and it's only $5. It's great for one of those days where you just don't wanna pack on the makeup. So let me know down in the comments below, have you guys tried this concealer out? If you have, let me know if you like it or if you don't and your reasons why. And hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more content. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday at noon central. So keep an eye out for that. I am super excited for this series. It is almost done and I'm so sad. I mean, we're halfway done. Time is flying by way too fast. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Bye.